I know most of us, once in your lifetime, you happened to buy a fake product. Yes, we all fall in these kind of tricks and uh, <laughs> it's so painful, even you cannot forgive yourself. And in this video, I'd like to share with you uh, one of the tricks that uh, was used against my friend when he was buying a computer machine. So before we do that, as usual, make sure you give the video thumbs up and uh, uh, make sure you subscribe if you are new in this channel. We normally talk matters to do with technology. We share and educate each other. So let's go back to the topic. Today I would like to show you how you can change the machine's specification. Like for example, if you want to check like uh, the processor and the RAM, you normally right click this PC and you just go ahead and uh, check the properties and you'll be able to see the processors and um, uh, the RAM size, that is something like that. As you can see, this one is Intel Core i7 processor, uh, something like that, so, of which I don't know whether you know it's true or false. Now we will get to know that one at a later stage. So that so I'll be able to show you how you can make changes and uh, write a different name like Core i9, something like that. So, um, this was a trick that was used against my friend. He happened to meet a stranger and the stranger happened to tell him that uh, he's a foreigner and uh, now he has done he's done with the businesses he was doing here in our country. So he would like to go back but he's not interested to go back with the, his machine. So uh, he can sell the machine to him for just a few Kenyan money that is 7,000 Kenyan shilling and the machine was having this uh, specification uh, because the, my friend happened to call me to ask the, if it is worth the amount so I asked about the features and he told me it's a core i7 um, no it was a core i5 something like that 500 GB it was that is hard disk and 4 GB um, random access memory that is the main memory so uh, if you can imagine, because it's a few years ago, by then I would like to say that um, even to get a second hand machine of this kind of uh, features, it's around 20 something. A brand new, it is, cost, it is going to cost more than uh, 30, even up to 40 somewhere there. So generally, I happen to tell him, oh, that's a nice deal, don't bother anything else, that's, you are lucky my friend. <laughs> then. When my friend came, he told me that I would like to change the machine to Windows 10. So, can you do that? I happened to tell you, yes, I can do the installation part, then you'll pay me. So, when I tried to install, we were together there, and uh, we tried, and I was shocked, like, the machine cannot accommodate um, Windows 10, because the hard disk was around 5 GB. Uh, yeah, yes, 5 GB, not, <laughs> not 500, 5 GB hard disk not ram uh, the ram itself was around 200 and something mb and uh, the processor was even far much like it. i don't know what type of generation not even uh, it was back those pentium machines uh, processors that were used back then so it was not in a position even to accommodate uh, windows uh, 7 itself but i was shocked how it did that it uh, they happened to do that so um <laughs> the lucky thing is that uh, I was with my friend there so yeah that is what happened to him and uh, I was shocked I happened now to do the research so that I can get to know how it works so when I went ahead and did research I even wrote a blog about it on my blog site, the blog site. so and uh, let's not waste a lot of time let me show you how you can change those kind of stuff so you just normally get to reg edit once you write reg edit here on the search the next thing is to click yes to accept terms and condition and the next stuff that you have to do um, in most cases it looks like this I I done that before and that's why you can see it's a reading go high whatever uh, which is wrong so you start with the computer because you're changing the um, machine you go to the hardware hardware you're going to change the description and on the description you can get to the system and on the system you go to the central processor then click on this folder for zero then you can see the processor name string here it's where you normally change those stuff then right click modify when you modify my processor was not in 
Intel Core i7 processor. <laughs> it was like this. <laughs> it's a dual core. And in case you want to change it maybe to Intel um, Core i9, I can say it's 9 processor. Processor like that. Just click OK and it can see it has changed. So in case I have to refresh here, I don't know if I can refresh or refresh and go back and check because you are going to be very fast in checking. Sometimes when you are buying this kind of stuff, you are overwhelmed by the features. <laughs> so uh, this now uh, in an Intel Core i9 processor and you will be shocked because I know if I can change maybe the RAM to, a B, to, to, to around 8 GB. And I uh, tell you that uh, this machine now you can buy it, you'll be very fast to give me almost uh, like 20,000. <laughs> because uh, that's a machine that will cost around over 100 plus Kenyan money. 100,000, that is. So these are some of the tri uh, tricks that you normally fall into. And uh, you need to be careful, especially if you are new in this industry. I know you want to buy a machine, so be careful when you're purchasing this product. So. Let me get back to where the machine, my my machine processor was. So that's how you do it. Mm. When I was in college, <laughs> uh, we happened to meet a guy who was selling a mobile phone, and it was a very nice phone. By then, it it would cost maybe something between uh, fifteen to twenty thousand. So he told us. Yes, we can do that. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And then we didn't have enough money, <laughs> so we happened to um, contribute. I even gave out my phone so that my friend can refund me because he was the uh, one who was interested with. So <laughs> they they he went ahead, did the, uh, completed the, the business. Then he said like, okay, can you be fast because can you wanna kuja? Can you wanna kuja? <laughs> Then he was given a phone in it go on a matope. <laughs> so those are some of the things that will happen to you. Uh, if you are a student who is going back to campus, you need to be very, very careful because these are some of the tricks that can be used. So that's it for today. And make sure you subscribe, as I said. Make sure you like. And make sure you share the link to as many people as you can. I would like to appreciate for the guys who have subscribed, who normally sh uh, watch my videos immediately after I upload and uh, that's a big support I'd like to say thank you so in my next video I will be sharing with you how you can be able to um, disable all the USB ports because that is the most more, it's a way that most of the people normally um, their machine gets infected with virus so I'll be able to share on how you can be able to disable all of them and leave only one port then when your friends comes and tell you I want to plug my flash on your computer, you can tell them all oh, my ports are not working, all of them. They will connect and they will find that uh, nothing is working. So that's it and uh, there are so many videos that I will be doing so stay tuned.